My wife and I have always had a weakness for old things. We bought the church in 2017 with an eye towards saving a beautiful old building. I originally drew plans that would turn the historic church into four apartments. We celebrated by hosting a New Year's Eve party open to Salida, and it was so much fun. One of our friends said that it was like his vision of heaven, with the white Christmas lights and the disco ball, Bob rolling sushi, and all our friends. Salada really needed a space like this. Less than a week later, this friend died tragically. Our next event was his memorial service. The church filled again as Salida gathered to grieve him. People kept telling us that Salida really needed a space like this. And suddenly it felt wrong to turn this beautiful old church into apartments. We saw a need for more community connection. So we set out to create a community hall and long story short, after many months of city politics, our options were limited. They said we could turn it into residences or keep it a church. So that night, we looked at each other and said, I guess we're starting a church. There are certain requirements to be a church. You have to have a minister, a board, a congregation, regular meetings, and a shared set of beliefs. We believe in the power of community to create positive change. We encourage individual spiritual growth and a search for truth and meaning. We believe in the inherent worth and dignity of every human being. And that's what drives the church to this day. We host live music from both local and traveling musicians in a listening space that allows a person to hear lyrics and honor musicians with complete attention. There are theater productions, educational speakers, game days, potlucks, graduation parties, weddings, and more. Connecting the older and young in art and play. Over the past four years, we've partnered with over 30 nonprofit groups, the library and schools. We remodeled the basement downstairs into an affordable living space for four tenants in a co-op type living situation. A hardworking board of directors leads the nonprofit and we hired Andrea Mossman to manage the space. We could not do this without her. Or the many volunteers and donors that support our mission. And the people that come out to participate in the events. The ones that turn off Netflix and get their pants on and come listen to music or see a show. We never would have imagined the vibrant hub of community connection that our old church, a church, has become. It's a small way we can be a part of and give back to this incredible community of Salida that we all love and call home.